very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our science session so in our science session we are discussing about light shadow and reflection okay so in our previous video we have discussed about the light what is meant by the luminous and non luminous object also we have discussed about the natural sources of light and also we have discussed about the man made sources of light also we have discussed about the shadows okay and also we have discussed that which are the different conditions are there which are essential to form a shadow so now in this today's session we are going to move for the further point that is we are going to discuss about the characteristics of a shadow okay so what is meant by the shadow so shadow is a dark outline or the shadow is a dark patch when it forms when the light rays are get stop or get blocked by an any opaque material okay and where the shadow form the shadow form always behind the opaque object okay so see here this is what duster so the light ray will get stop here and where the shadow will form the shadow will form see here you can see the somehow the shadow of the duster okay you can see here somehow the shadow of the duster can you see here okay i'll try to show you here the shadow of a duster okay so in this way the shadow always form back side of the opaque object but there are the certain characteristics of the shadow that we are going to see so the first characteristics of a shadow is what it is always dark okay it is what always dark so you see if you are wearing the colorful clothes it doesn't mean that your shadow will be also colorful if you are wearing the red yellow pink color clothes then your shadow will be pink red yellow no obviously no if still if you are wear the different color of the clothes is the any objects are having the different color but still that object will form the shadow that is always in a dark okay that is always in the black color we can say that next one is the it only shows the dark outline of an object okay so the shadow always shows only the dark outline of an object so the shadow is only the dark outline of an object it doesn't gives all the information about an object it does or we can say it do not have the detail about the object now the next thing we we'll discuss about that that is it is formed it is means what the shadow is formed in the direction opposite to the sources of light okay opposite to the sources of light okay so now see here i am having this duster okay i am having this duster and also i am having the one, one source of light that is what mobile torch okay so see this is what source of light and this is what shadow okay so you can see the shadow here okay you can see the shadow of the duster okay so see here this is what source of the light this is opaque object and where the shadow has formed the shadow has formed back side of an opaque object okay back side of an opaque object or we can say that the shadow is formed in the direction of the direction opposite to the source of light so see from this side from the first side there is a source of light and where the shadow form at the back side okay means the shadow is always formed to the opposite direction of sources of light the opposite direction of sources of light so see this is what shadow okay so see here you can see the shadow okay now we move for the next point that is next one is there the size of a shadow varies okay so the size of the shadows also can get varies how it can varies depending on the distance between the object very important the shadows also can get varies okay the shape or the we can say the size of the shadow can get varies but depends on which things it depends on the distance between the object okay distance between the object and the screen distance between the object and the screen and also it depends upon the distance between the object and the source of light so on the two factors the shadow is responsible of the shadow is varies on the two factors that are on the distance between the object and the screen the distance between the object and the screen and also it depends on the distance between the object and the source of light 
okay on the object and the source of light so see for that also we are having one activity so we will discuss that activity so now see here now again i am having this mobile torch as a source of light and this duster as a opaque material so what is our first condition the size of the shadow varies depending on the distance between the object and the screen okay so now see this distance if we keep the distance okay if we decrease the distance then the shadow becomes smaller and if we increase the distance then the shadow becomes bigger okay if we increase the distance between the object and the screen then the shadow becomes bigger if we decrease the distance between the shadow and between the opaque object and the screen then the shadow becomes smaller see here we have keep the source of light constant okay we have not changed the position of the source of light but see here if we change the distance between the object and the screen now what we have we have decrease the distance between the uh, object and the screen now the shadow becomes smaller now if we increase the distance then the shadow becomes bigger okay then the shadow becomes what bigger so this is the first condition what is the next condition is there and the distance between the object and the source of light now what we will do now we will keep this opaque object stable and we will move the source of light now see uh, we have decreased the distance between the source of light and object then how is the shadow shadow is bigger and now we will decrease the increase the distance between the source of light and the object then how is the shadow smaller if we will decrease distance then the shadow will get increase if we increase the distance between the source of light and the opaque object then the shadow will get decrease okay increase in the distance shadow get decrease decrease in the distance shadow get increase okay so this is the two conditions are there according to that the shadow can get varies okay next one is there also to explain this we are having one activity that with the help of this activity video we can understand how is the exact distance between the screen and the object and also it depends upon how the distance between the object and the source of light we can vary the shadow so see this video some of the features of a shadow it is black in color it gives an idea of the shape of the object it does not show any details of the object it does not show the color of the object this one is the light source this one is the object and this one is the screen now when the object is nearer to the light source the shadow will become larger if the shed if the object is further away from the light source the shadow will become smaller one way to remember is light start with l l stand for large so when an object go nearer to light which is l the shadow will be large when it's away from the sh from the light source the shadow will be small now this is screen start with s s stand for small if the object goes nearer to the screen the shadow will become smaller now there's another way that we can do that if the torch which is the light source go nearer to the object again the shadow will become bigger when it's further away from an object the shadow becomes smaller same for the screen when the screen is nearer screen stand for small right when the screen is nearer to the object the shadow becomes smaller and when the screen is away from the object the shadow becomes bigger right so we can shift either the torch nearer to the object bigger further away from the object become smaller right when this one goes nearer to the screen as it goes nearer to the screen screen stand for small you become smaller shadow and when it's away from the screen 
then the shadow become big and if you shift the screen nearer to the object the shadow will be small further away from the object the shadow will be big so again whenever the object is near the screen when they get nearer and nearer the shadow becomes smaller and smaller when an object get nearer to the light source uh, the shadow will get bigger and bigger okay so now we will move on the last characteristics of a shadow that is what shape and size of the shadow also varies with the position of the source of light okay so see shape and the size of the shadow also varies okay? with the position of the source of light so if you change the position of the source of the light then the shadows can change their shape and size okay? You must have seen your shadow on the ground when you stand in the sun. If the sun is to your right, your shadow will be formed on your left. If the sun is over your head, your shadow will be formed at your feet. If the sun is to your left, your shadow will be formed on your right. So it means what if we change the so direction of the source of the light then we can get the different sides of the shape and size of the shadow okay so the shape and the size of the shadow also varies with the position of the source of light okay so all these are the different characteristics of the shadows okay again i will revise quickly it is always dark it only shows the dark outline of an object it is formed in the direction opposite to the source of light the size of the shadow varies on depending on the distance between the object and the screen and the distance between the object and the source of light also shape and the size of the shadow also varies with the position of the source of light okay so see these all these are the characteristics so these characteristics of the shadows we can use to form a different figures uh, which are resembles to the different birds and the uh, animals okay so in the books it is given the different types of the image so you can see in the image how we the help of the formation of the hands we can form out the different figures of the birds plants and other objects okay so this is works on which phenomena it works on the shadow okay so this is all about today today we have discussed about the characteristics of a shadow so here we will stop we will meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you